This is Matrix Lord 212, and I wanted to make this video before, but I'm going to do it now before I forget. Uh, and my question is, is can the TARDIS be upgraded like an iPhone? Uh, and the reason why I say this is because, you know, it was a museum piece, it was a Type 40 TARDIS, but yet it was the first ship that was in the front lines of the Time War. Uh, and at one point in time, the Doctor was all for the Time Lords until at some point in time he found out what they were up to. And then he, I guess he tried to change sides and save Davros. But um, can the TARDIS be upgraded like an iPhone? Well, we do know that um, the TARDIS has uh, changed it is before okay let me let me go into detail first of all in series one I believe the ninth doctor said that there was no type of shielding for the TARDIS now I think that Captain Jack invented the shielding uh, that upgraded the TARDIS to have shields in case of big big battles um, we did see in um, Voyager of Damned that when the TARDIS crashed uh, with the shielding he was able to rebuild the ship now um, in time, Chris, the fifth doctor said your shields are down. So um, I don't know if the shields were as powerful back in the day, but um, I, I do believe that the doctor has upgraded the TARDIS. Where, um, because don't forget, now people think, okay, the TARDIS can travel through time and space. It does other things besides that. Um, it was revealed in Russell T. Davis's era that um, the Doctor journeyed to Earth uh, to absorb the energy from the rift to fuel the TARDIS. So the TARDIS does need to uh, have fuel to keep it going. Um, there was also um, the thing with the TARDIS where uh, the TARDIS can close off parallel worlds. This was said by David Tennant that he says he will seal off um, the doors to different parallel worlds so that way they can never be opened again. Um, we also know from Father's Day that the doctor said even though the Time Lords weren't around, like when they were around they would have been able to fix what went wrong with um, Rose creating an alternate timeline, uh, saving a father. He says, but the TARDIS could do it, but because he was away from the TARDIS, it was affected and it had to kind of reboot into the new universe, regenerate. So, um, the thing is, the TARDIS can do a lot more than travel in time and space. Uh, you know, it, it, the TARDIS was even able to take the Earth and bring it back to its original point, like a gravitational pull. Um, the TARDIS has been known to um, pull ships lately. So the TARDIS is a lot stronger than it used to be. Uh, and I think that the TARDIS does upgrade like an iPhone almost, where, you know, it's not obsolete. It's never going to be obsolete because it has to upgrade for the times with different things. Um, so I do believe that now they never alluded to what the newer TARDISes can do. Um, but I'm sure that if the Doctor had a newer model, it probably could go to New York in time distortions in Angels Take Manhattan. Um, but you know what? I, I hope they never change that. I hope that Doctor always has the Type 40 TARDIS uh, because it is, uh, you know, I would never want to see him with anything else. Uh, you know, this is not Star Trek when the Enterprise blew up and then Kirk gets a new Enterprise ship. Uh, the TARDIS is a TARDIS, and I never want him to see with him with another ship. So, But I do believe that the, you know, the TARDIS is known to upgrade the sonic screwdriver you know and in closing time the doctor does say oh uh, I got an app for that to stop the um, cybermat so I do believe the TARDIS can upgrade like an iPhone so um, and that's it for now talk to you later